I had heard of Grayson, of course. Everyone had, leading up to those days before the fall of the London Tower. We all knew how it had begun. The night of the 15th of May, 1951. The night that James Grayson's life changed forever. Sakes, what is he? It's Why? his brother. Oh, Johnny. Oh, God, not him. Get him out of here. Why? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Grayson, you know the regs. You can't let him live. I know the regs, damn it. His brother's death had sent Grayson over the edge. Grayson deserted his unit and went on a vendetta to destroy every Chimera conversion center he could find. Where the hell's your lieutenant? Where's Grayson? We don't know, sir. What do you mean you don't know? We can't find it him. It was his brother, sir. He found his brother. He just went crazy. He's gone. <sighs> Damn it. Follow me. I didn't meet Grayson personally until the trial, months after the fall of the Chimera Tower in London. Cartwright, as his commanding officer, had been called to testify. He became a hero to many. But desertion in time of war is a capital offense, and the law would make no exceptions. Grayson would have died in that prison, but for the intervention of an extraordinary woman Just outside. Private Grayson. My name is Rain Bouchard. I'm with the Marquis. I know who you're with. I am here to request your assistance. The resistance. Resistance. You swam all the way across the channel, did you? Here to beg for help. Our mission is top secret. How did you know about this? Word gets around. We take out the tower in London. You want help with yours. Where is it? Paris? Berlin? Paris. But I am sure you knew that as well. So why are you in here? Doing some last minute sightseeing before heading back to France. You tell me. You want to know about the conversion centers? I told you, work gets around. How many centers have you destroyed? You want me to tell you everything I've seen? Everything I know before I stop seven or eight bullets in front of a firing squad. Is that it? No, actually. So you don't know everything. I am here to offer you a reprieve. So I get to be a grunt, working for the Marquis. Taking orders from frogs and abroad. No thanks, sister. You'd rather die? Here? Executed by your own people? What happened to you, Grayson? I've read your fire. So you lost your family. Look around. We've all lost family. Look. 
What do you want to know? All right, yeah. I burned down some of their shithole conversion centers. So what? They're done. The menials, the Greyjacks. Every damn one of them's gone. There's no more of us to replace them. The last center I burned out was already abandoned. The Chimera are dead. Wrong again. That is twice if you're counting. They're hardly dead. They're evolving. My father has spent several years working with the Marquis. Developing a serum. This serum that can stop the new conversion process. We are close, James. With your help. Your experience. I can get the materials we need to finish it. Oh. Tell Cartwright I want my brother's jacket back. At the time, we had no idea why his brother's jacket was so important to him. We had no idea how Bouchard convinced Grayson. But he agreed to work under the authority of the Marquis and became an integral part of Operation Overstrike. The plan was simple. Our intelligence corps agreed to send two squadrons to help the Marquis headquartered in Luxembourg. Stephen Cartwright, a major in the British Royal Marine Commandos, would lead the first squadron. I would lead the second squadron four hours later, but time was short. Over the past three years, the Chimera had been busy. Massive fortifications were being constructed all along the coastlines of Western Europe. Soon it would be impossible for anyone to get in or out. Our squadrons would use one of the few remaining open corridors through the Chimera defenses, a narrow strip over Rotterdam. Accompanied by the Marquis, our forces would cross Chimera lines into Luxembourg and then on to Paris. But we discovered too late that the Marquis were wrong.